Um, do you or did you play any sports? Not really. Um, I used to play, and I think this is the reason why I do not like football or soccer or any sports in, in particular. Um, when I was younger, maybe 10 or 11, my uh, my father, my pop, he used to actually uh, manage a uh, kind of like an under 12, uh, an under 12 football team and he forced me to play uh, and I think that's why I didn't. Up until then, I really... Sorry if I keep sounding really weird. It's because I'm kind of trying not to burp. I've drunk too much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he kind of forced me to play, which I think is the reason why I don't like football and stuff like that. Um, just because I didn't want to play at the time. Now I just associate it with, uh, with bad times, being forced to play a game that I didn't want to play. Um, uh, other than that, I used to... I don't know if you could count skateboarding as a sport. I know it's an extreme sport, but you don't really get points on it, do you? Um, but yeah, I used to skateboard a lot. I really enjoyed myself there back in the day. By all means, I was crap, but uh, but yeah, I, was, I enjoyed it. You know, it kept me active. Um, and what do I do in my free time? I uh, <laughs> I don't know. I uh, uh, I assume free time means no, you know, not including work and not including uh, YouTube stuff. Uh, as I said in a previous question, I go to the cinema a lot. And the cinema that I go to is in like a shopping center, which is over an hour away. So uh, that's kind of like a day trip kind of thing. And I really do enjoy doing that. Uh, I love watching new movies and all that sort of business. So that is what I do in my free time. Um, what kind of job do I have? I am a supervisor in a supermarket for the time being. Uh, do I favor redheads? Uh, I've got nothing against redheads. Uh, they're, they're okay, I guess. There's, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I've actually got a, a ginger cousin. Who's, uh, who's, uh, yeah, he's ginger. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Leaky Tapsman himself. Have you ever been as far... <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to have to read this again. Have you ever been as far to go do what walk more like? Or has it always been further to accidentally the whole question? Yes. Yes, I have. And no, it has not been accidentally to hold the, the whole question. Yes. <laughs> that was uh, an absolute mouthful. Especially when I'm slightly drunk. Um, okay, the 242 type. Do you prefer white or black chocolate? Um, I guess I, re I just prefer regular regular black or brown or regular milk chocolate. Um, I don't know what the... I think it's milk chocolate, isn't it? Yeah, I prefer that. Although I am partial to a milky bar which is white chocolate, so who knows? Or in fact, I'll have a Kinder Egg. Bit of both. Fantastic. Kinder Eggs are delicious. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Crash Bandicoot on the PS1? Uh, Crash Bandicoot was the first game I ever owned on the PS1. It uh, had a lot of good memories in that game. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, do you rather use the AC-130 or the Pavlo? I'd much rather use the AC-130, even though the Pavlo would probably get me more kills. Uh, I like to think that I'm doing something in the AC-130 uh, rather than uh, just letting the, letting the Pavlo fly. Um, have you ever seen The Dark Knight? I have indeed. It is a, it's a fantastic movie and I cannot wait for the uh, for the sequel or the prequel. I don't even know what it is. But the next movie, uh, which is coming out really soon in a couple of months, that should be really good. And uh, what is your favourite flavour of noodles? I assume it just means regular noodles, which would be chicken. But if you're going to ask me what my favourite flavour pot noodle is, they do a sticky rib flavour. And I, that sounds disgusting when I say it like that. But it is delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> um, Joe Pro Show. Is your favourite Pokemon Squirtle? You know what? Possibly. Possibly, you know. Um, when I was playing the Pokemon games, I never chose Charmander purely because all of my friends used to choose Charmander. So I was like, you know what, I'll I'll diversify a little bit. And then like the guys who didn't choose Charmander, you know, the the select few, all chose Squirtle. So I was always like a Bulbasaur kind of guy, uh, purely because I felt sorry for him. But uh, yeah, I, I don't mind Squirtle. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a uh, pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Mister Mister Zero Zero Spiky. I don't, I don't know if that's how you say your name. I apologize. Uh, are you a good sniper? Uh, no. No, I'm not. I, I wish I was. Um, if I'm playing kind of calm and collective and uh, 
I actually take my time. I can get some pretty good scores uh, sniping, but the majority of the time when I'm running around trying to quick scope, uh, put the emphasis on trying there. Uh, no, I, I'm an awful sniper. Um, but when I play snipers as they are intended to be played, I'm pretty good. But not that I'm pretty good. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, awesomely cool 75. Uh, do you prefer the the PS3 or Xbox? I do not prefer either over the other one. They're, they're both pretty good. Uh, what football team do I like? I do not like any unless it's uh, unless I have to. Um, and what's your favourite game of all time? Uh, yours is Saints Row 3. My favourite game of all time. Again, this is really difficult. Um, between the Call of Duties, it'd be Black Ops. Um, I know that wasn't the question, but Black Ops would be my uh, my favourite Call of Duty. Uh, and I suppose the only other game that comes to mind right now um, would be uh, Portal. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say Portal One or Two because I enjoyed both of them, but the Portal games were really fun. And uh, the one game that I pretty much lost six years of my life in was Guild Wars, which is uh, it's really good and it's probably really cheap right now if you if you want to go ahead and buy that. Uh, but yeah, Guild Wars is really good. Um, yeah. Okay, Pro Athlete Eleven. Did you ever get an operation? Um, no, I've never been operated on. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, a lot of near calls. I, I've got a really weak ankle. Uh, my right ankle is ridiculously weak, and I I tear my ligaments in it. Like I was gonna, <laughs> that, I only seem to tear like I always roll my ankle, which always tears the ligaments in it because it's kind of it's kind of the runt ankle. It's the one that no one cares about. But I always tear my ligaments in it, and they always say if it was any worse, you'd have to have something done to it. So I'm pretty close to to having an operation, but so far, no. No, I have not had an operation. Um, what religion are you, if any? I am, a, I am not, I am not religious at all. Um, I, I don't, in, in a, I don't understand, I, I don't, before, you know, digging myself into a hole, a hole and saying one religion's better than another, I'm not going to do that because I don't know the details uh, of religions. But at the same time, what religion am I? I believe something is out there. Something has got to have formed everything. You know, being with, I'm I'm too drunk to get deep deep right now. But um, everything could not have come about without the uh, without the intervention without the intervention of a higher a higher power. You know, it's like. You know, people say the Big Bang formed the world, or, or Earth at least, or the solar system, I don't understand, I assume it's the, the Earth, but then what formed the Big Bang, you know? And if scientists have somehow realised what formed the Big Bang, what formed what was before the Big Bang, you get me? It's an endless, you, you can justify what you want all day, every day, but at some point something had to start it. Something had to have started something, you know? But then, what started the thing that started everything? Mind. My mind gets messed up when I think about stuff like that. Um, and that is why I tend to stay away from the topics of uh, of that sort of business. Um, yes. 